Well, in an industry that's been known for tough workers and grueling labor, its leaders are now shining a light on mental health. 13 Action News reporter Kelsey McFarland live to explain how a local carpenters union is taking on suicide prevention. Dave, Kalina, good morning. We're live outside of the Carpenters Union this morning. This is a tough industry to be in. In fact, the CDC lists the construction industry as having one of the highest suicide rates in the country. Now industry leaders are making changes. Working in construction is rough on the body. You know, when you strap yourself off to the side of a building at 4 a.m. and you put up with the elements, uh, construction is a very tough trade. Statistics show it's also rough on the mind, especially during an economic downturn. In 2009, when the economy crashed, we had an alarming amount of suicides. It was, uh, we were losing a carpenter about every three days. Frank Hawk is COO of the Southwest Regional Council of Carpenters. Las Vegas union members are responsible for building much of the city's infrastructure. Frank says suicide is an issue that's impacted his work family and his family at home. In 2017, uh, my 18 year old son took his own life. We just didn't see it coming. We didn't see signs of mental health. And so it became this issue to, for me, it became a real passion to, to get involved. Mental health isn't a hot topic in carpentry, but Frank says it's time to end the stigma. They go to work in pain. They go to work injured, but they're, they don't want to talk about what's going on inside their head. When the economy started to struggle amid the COVID-19 pandemic, Frank and other industry leaders formed a committee called BOSS. Brotherhood of Strength and Support. The program is meant to break the stigma surrounding mental health and get union members who are struggling connected to the right resources. Tim Carlton is chair of the committee. It evolved quickly and uh, this model here in Vegas will be replicated throughout 16 different locals, five different states amongst 55,000 carpenters. He's hoping the industry's new efforts in mental health can be the change to save someone's life. It's something that can, with, with intervention and help um, and the right resources, um, that, that mother, father, brother, sister, mom and dad can be saved. Now, September is Suicide Prevention Month, so if you or a loved one is struggling, please call the Suicide Prevention Lifeline. That number is 800-273-TALK. You can also call the Nevada line at 800-SUICIDE. Reporting live, I'm Kelsey McFarland, 13 Action News.